In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Black ribbons. It's crazy. Black ribbons, strong kotori. White ribbon, weak kotori. How does that even work? What? It does feel like we're kind of back to like episode one dynamic though with Shido and Kotori. And for better or worse, you know, it, it, we're vibing better than before. Where it was kind of awkward, right? <laughs> I, I mean, it's not so bad. Yeah, you, got, you gotta be a couple though. I, we are a couple right now, aren't we? Oh. And right now, she's kind of our girlfriend. Kind of. I... Not blood related. <laughs> you know, moments like this, you might think it's a silly and dumb, but like it really just like reassures me that things might actually go well. <laughs> what? What, Kyohei? Bro, stop going for the supple body, developing chest, girl her age, this fucking guy. He wanted to kick the most, though. What? What? And then let her hit you? This fucking dude. Dude, his masochism is kind of insane. Look at everyone here just look at him like, you fucking freak. Same smell. I mean, they're brother and sister. AST? Is this what they were talking about, the big Gundam mobile suit? Origami's going rogue, isn't she? Is she actually just gonna go to the fucking water park and fight? Oh shit. Everything just goes back to five years ago when we lost her memory. How do you just become a spirit? Like, this is so important plot stuff that we just won't learn. Kiss time? K K kiss time? <laughs> I think she realized. I was like, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> the time is pretty decent. No. Nah. <laughs> smiling. I think she's super down. No, it's gotta be in public. But as soon as we go for the kiss, you know Origami's gonna fucking show up with the Gundam. What? <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't think that's that. Who was beside you? Wait, remember the tape that Kanzaki Kyohei showed us? What the fuck, dude? I think someone put a shield up for us, though. Koto? We should be fine. No, we're stuck in a barrier. Origami, I swear to fucking guy. Why? Origami, I was warming up to you in these recent episodes. God. <laughs> nice new form. It, 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 looks, it looks decent. All right. Yo. Who's the fucking public threat to our world? These spirits or Origami in her fucking suit? Like, you can't just go to civilian territory and just do this shit. No, you did it. No, you did it. Uh-oh. Is she transforming already? Oh, God. Dude, those flames are sick, though. Oh, no. Well, it wouldn't be a finale if we didn't have some kind of action, or you can't just have happy times. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. You just put every one of them in danger. He Hello? Hello? Astral dress, right? And then Kamael is <laughs> nice ass. Kamael is the axe, right? Her astral dress is so pretty. It's got a very Japanese theme to it if you look at it, right? Ooh. And this soundtrack, I fucking love this soundtrack. It's probably one of my favorites in season one so far. This Toka's dual theme, um, Battle Rhapsody for Kurumi. Origami power up, okay, okay. Toka is so good. Oh, half of it, right? Damn. Oh, dude, oh my. I didn't, cause like when she usually when she transforms, she has like a classroom outfit, but then with the half of it, but in this bikini, oh my god. Sure. 
Okay, everyone's gonna help out. Oh no, oh no, I didn't want to see that. I'm, oh no, careful with that. Bro, she's just spamming missiles and we're just sitting here with their flame barrier. You can't do shit. Territory. Territory seems to be like some kind of barrier that she encapsulated Shido into too, right? You're just destroying this fun amusement park shit! Damn, Kotori's just playing with her. I mean, a little bit of sleeve, but... That smile, did you see that smile? She got a fucking crazy smile. That's what happens when she goes berserk. Against the Kurumi fight too. She gets a... Got some name techniques too. Oh? What do you got me? Let her, let her do her thing. Let her, but this is so dangerous. This is fucking insane. I'm just waiting for her eyes to go red, man. I feel almost bad for Origami, man. <laughs> Look at Kotori on top. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Look at those eyes, man. She's going berserk again. How are we gonna stop this? Origami, I'm not gonna feel bad for you. You went fucking crazy this episode. Oh shit, this is the Mega Beam. Uh, Shido will get in front. Probably. Like last time. But he has no healing right now because Kotori has all the powers. This is dangerous. And like, what is up with these code names? Does AST just name them? Did she though? Did she really though? Cause like, we saw the city in flames. Mom and dad died from a beam from above. Did Kotori fucking Megido them? I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about this man. Cause like, you gotta understand where Origami is coming from too, but... Uh... She lost her weapon. Will she stop though? I feel like Origami might actually kill Shido if it's for her revenge. Yeah. Are you telling me? Wait. There was this other person there that remember from the tape. They're separate people? Huh? Are you saying there's like a separate entity, the spirit of flames that like possess Kotori, therefore Kotori as a human, even in this form, is different from a freed? Is that what he's implying? My friend. Just friend, by the way. Get fucked, Origami. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? She's gonna do it. You're really gonna kill him? Best. Oh my god, a little bit of panty service, but. And Yoshino! Damn, dude, Toka's out bikini outfit. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't realize Yoshino the puppet actually can talk in the big. I should have known. In the big form. You know. Now kiss your sister. <laughs> What? Oh, when you fucking snipe bread kun? Yeah. That was. Dude, Origami was so terrible that episode. Yeah, where's that empathy? Yo, Toka's talking some facts! Toka actually might be the best girl of the series, though. Just because of how much she cares for Shido. I don't think Shido, like. I don't think. Toka deserves so much better than Shido, though. She don't treat her like shit. This kiss. This just kiss. Let's do it. Here it comes. We're doing it. Yeah, yeah, you've been saying Kotori like four times. Better in mana, confirmed. <laughs> as, as a family, though, I. I <laughs> yeah, big bro. 
Yo, there's no time. They're coming for us. There we go. Best emoto. But when you say love, is this? It's oh my god. Look, not blood related. It's fine, right? Memories. Who is this? What's that blur? What is that static blur? Yeah, that's when he got sealed away first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The black ribbons. Memories of the past. Everything? How much? Don't fucking pass that. Alright, we'll talk later. She's actually shooting missiles at him. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's okay though. It's okay. We're back. We're back. You clap this bitch. I don't care if you feel bad now. Stop this. Is he? The power hasn't sealed away. <laughs> you guys kissed? <laughs> what did you do five years ago though? But the beam was not from Kotori! No, Maybe that was his spirit though, but... Who? Who? Who is this blurry figure? You really gonna fight? Like she, like she's actually just drawing her sword to fight Shido right now. Yeah, what about that empathy? Actually, this might be our limit because remember the suit, like it really is like it damages the human operating it, right? I mean, you've already shot with a sniper already. Just fucking go shoot. Look, look, whatever. If she still shoots, she will go down in history as the fucking worst girl. You better just pass out now. Good. Like, I... I was warming up to her too, and I was trying to hype her up in the last couple episodes, but god damn. Oh, Kurumi. What is she doing? Kur Kurumi? The amount of, like, mana she needs to use her power, right? I, I don't know what she's up to. Or is she permanently always just like loving Shido so much? It was already just peak, right? <laughs> Lil Emoto was always maxed out! She does, and we love her adorable little sister. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Okay, Sundi the captain! I love you. How about you? Was that true? I mean, you said it too. Oh, no. oh! But is it just this family? What, you, you know, I'll oh, get her. Look at Commander getting this weakened state. As a sister! She looked kind of disappointed there, though. Post credit scene? Toka! Toka did clutch. So did Yoshino, yeah. It's interesting to see that Toka actually, you know, doesn't mind sure she don't like this anymore. <laughs> we have to, though. <laughs> Makes you jealous? Oh. Oh. But we have to give it's part of the rules. Why? I have no clue. Yeah, she deserves one. Come on. I swear to God, if he doesn't, bro, you need to treat Toka so much better. I think Toka might actually be best girl. Who is this? What, what is Kotori? <laughs> You've been watching this entire time. You wanna watch this shit? Just get cucked? Alright. If you're into that shit. This is how it started after all. She was the first spirit, right? Yoshinon! In the OVA, I believe. Origami really just fucking solidifying her status as worst girl. And you guys have told me plenty of time that her flashback, there's some twist to it. I'll feel really bad in the future. And when that moment comes, I'll accept my punishment. But right now, holy shit, she is terrible. But you gotta, I guess, understand from her side. Now, Toka, I think in this season, probably best girl. Now, you guys are gonna say, but what about Kurumi? And I understand. I think Kurumi is just like an elite in a league of her own. Like she's her a different tier. But I think of Toka as the girl that you would marry. Like, 
Toka is somebody that's just like I feel like she needs Shido more. Kurumi, she's fine. Kurumi's badass. I love her. I understand the Kurumi hype, but Toka, there's just something there that I just it's just Oh, it's so delicate and innocent and pure. I just want to protect it, right? But I still love Kurumi. I, if I were to rank Toka and Kurumi, it's like right next to next. With probably Kurumi just on top a little bit more. But if I was going to say who's the actual best girl, I would say Toka. Even though I rank Kurumi higher, if that makes sense. Yoshino, the fucking Nolly. Get over it. Now, what are we going to do from here? Oh, we have an OVA coming out. We're going to watch that. Then we're going to go into season two. And I have some Patreon stuff set up. So full reactions for season one might be coming soon. But hey. You're still here. If you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.